today's video, we will be taking a look at a potential 2024 presidential election prediction between Nikki Haley and Joe Biden. Nikki Haley is currently like the around the third most likely candidate to win the 2024 Republican primary, which is still very unlikely, but it is still possible as politics change dramatically over time. So first off, let's go ahead and start with the likely states. But before we do that, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because most of you are just not subscribed. Now first off, let's go to the likely states. For Joe Biden, that would be Colorado, New Mexico, Virginia, New Jersey, the state of Maine, the at-large vote, and I'm pretty sure that is it. So 203 for the current president of the United States. Well, for and Oregon as well, sorry for that. Nikki Haley, however, would, should be able to win the states of Kansas, Texas, Alaska, Florida, South Carolina, Ohio, and Iowa. She is the governor, or former governor, I should say, of the state of South Carolina, and all the other states should be likely for her, no problem, as she is still considered one of the more moderate Republicans, and she should be able to have better appeal in states like Texas, and really, Republicans have a very, very strong grip on states like Iowa and Ohio, and the state of Florida is trending Republican by a significant margin. Now going to the lean states for both parties. First off, the lean Democratic states, because Joe Biden is currently behind the electoral votes, Minnesota will be a lean state for Democrat Joe Biden. And I don't think that should be much of a surprise. This is a state that has held its Democratic voting streak in qu for quite a long time as well as that the state of Minnesota, Michigan as well, because I just don't think that Nikki Haley has that type of appeal of someone like Donald Trump, who can do really, really well in a state like Michigan with the rural areas, and also do actually quite well in much of the urban areas, to the point that Trump might actually win the state, and Ron DeSantis could, but not Nikki Haley. Now for Nikki Haley, her lane states, I think Arizona would be a lane state for her because she is more moderate, and moderates typically do well in states like Arizona. She should also be able to win North Carolina, no problem. North Carolina really would go to pretty much any Republican nominee. It is consistently close, but it typically always votes for the GOP. Now for New Hampshire, here should be a lane state for Joe Biden, and that that is the lean states for Biden. Now, Nikki Haley should be able to win Maine's second district. I do see it as around four to five points, though, not a likely margin, because this district, again, still a pretty solid district for the Republicans, but Nikki Haley doesn't have that appeal. Now we have four states remaining, and the district. A district being Nebraska second, these areas will truly decide who the next president of the United States will be. First off, the state of Nevada here, this is pretty close, but I think Biden should have the narrow edge here. Nikki Haley, I just don't think can appeal in the state of Nevada to much of the voters there. It is a Hispanic state. She is um, she is a she is a minority woman, she is kind of Hispanic, but still I don't think that's going to be able to win her this state. Now for Georgia, Georgia, he act she actually has a pretty good chance in that state because she is from the na neighboring state of South Carolina and many of the rural areas in the South Carolina region that borders the state of Georgia could do could be very well for her. Now, is that really enough? It really depends, but I think she has that appeal. Now, Pennsylvania, Biden's home state, this state, he was born in. I think that he should be able to win Pennsylvania, no problems there. Again, Nikki Haley may not actually appeal very well in a state like that. Nebraska second, I also think that Nikki Haley's appeal there is actually quite weak. However, for the state of Wisconsin, this is a very, very close state. It's a state that's trending Republican, there's no doubt about that. But Nikki Haley, is she the best candidate? She's obviously not the best candidate for a state like Wisconsin. Um, but she can do very well in the ex-urban slash suburban areas. Thus, I'll still give her the state is very close, but I think she should be able to win. Anyways, thank you for today's video. Be sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.